Mega Bass Sleeper Gill versus the Berkeley Gilly. Which one is the best? Let's find out. If you like this kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you're new, comment below. Just tell me you subbed. I'd like to say hello and welcome you to the team. Over the last two years, the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill, which came out this year in 2022, and last year, the Berkeley Gilly, which won ICAST Best of Show in 2021, are two of the toughest baits to get a hold of. Both are soft plastic baits. One is pre-rigged, one is not. The Berkeley Gilly is a knockoff of a Japanese bait, that, uh, the Javelin Gill. That is an exceptional bait, but really, really tough to rig, especially if you're a beginning angler. Even as an advanced angler that I consider myself, I had a hard time getting the Berkeley Gilly to run properly and had to learn how to rig it right too. But that's not where we're here to talk about. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of each bait because we need to know which one's better. So to start off, let's talk about the sleeper gill. And yes, it doesn't have a tail. That's one of the, the cons, but let's talk about the pros to start off with. The Mega Bass sleeper gill has uh, exceptional action in the water. It goes has a side to side wobble and that tail kicks nonstop. It's priced around $10 and you get one and it is pre-rigged with a four-aught hook that exposes when a bass bites it. It is weedless, but not really weedless. You can tell that has a really thick head to start off with. And while that's one of the pros, it's also a con because the grass does get right there. It's a great deep water bait. This bait is kind of heavy. It's three quarters of an ounce. So as soon as it hits the water, it flutters down. As it flutters down that tail, automatically starts and that's a good thing because there's a lot of times that you'll make a cast and that bait will get bit as soon as it hits the water and starts fluttering down. Like I said, it has exceptional action. The concealed hook is really, really great and it casts like a dream. Now, some of the negatives, let's just start off and talk about it. That tail coming off, I bought two of them and both tails came off after about five, six, seven, ten bites. And that stinks. It's one of the toughest baits to get, and that also sucks too. I would say it's uh, being tough to purchase is, is one of the things I didn't like about it. Because like right now, you couldn't get one. The other thing is, is when you get them, this part of the plastic here needs to be cut so that it exposes more right in that area. I know you can't really see it real well because it's right there. And like I said, even though it is weedless, the head of this bait gets a lot of grass. So I really wouldn't call it weedless. I think if you're in uh, deeper water and you don't have a ton of grass, it probably is absolutely fantastic. For me down here in Florida, we have a lot of grass. So a majority of the time, I was pulling grass off that front nose. The Berkeley Gilly, you get four pieces per pack, which is really good. Depending on what size you get, they go from $7.99 to $8.99, which is really kind of great. Those are, the, those are a couple of the pros. It has extreme action in the water as it comes to you. And if it's rigged properly, it swims unbelievable. I wouldn't say it's the most durable bait, but we'll get into that into the cons in a second. It has realistic colors, realistic movements. It is scented with the Berkeley Max scent. It stays in the upper water column. So if you're down here in Florida, you really love that. But it's really an upper column bait. And last but not least, it is weedless when you rig it properly. One of the cons, or some of the cons are, it's a nightmare to rig. If you're a new angler, this is not the bait for you because you need to rig it here and through there. The other thing is, in, in this case, is that on my first fish, the nose broke right there, and that really stinks. So while I got one bite, uh, the bait was useless, useless after that one bite. Again, it's a knockoff of, it's a better knockoff of that javelin gill. 
and priced a lot better so that's awesome too and while a pro is staying in the upper water column it's also a con too because there are times that you want it to slip into that middle middle water column and it just doesn't do that you can let it sink put your rod tip down and as soon as you start reeling it insanely slow which is a con it comes to the top of the water even using a leader and braid and that kind of stuff it wanted to stay up top I, in my case, I didn't know if the bait was swimming properly. After I got the first bite, I put another one on, and I didn't know if the bait was swimming properly in the water. And also, I had a lot of missed hookups with this bait, and that was very surprising. In the day I went fishing, I had six or seven fish that I missed. I actually never landed a fish with this hook, this bait. And that was kind of disappointing and made me realize that maybe something was wrong. So we've talked about the pros and the cons of both baits. Both are soft plastic, smaller profile baits that really are the cream of the crop, to be honest. The Berkeley Gilly, when rigged right and having it, having it in the water is exceptional. It really is exceptional. My flaw in this bait is that it's hard to rig and when it isn't, you're not sure if it's rigged properly as it's swimming towards you. There were a lot of times I felt like the bait was swimming just a hair on its side, almost that way, instead of being this way. And my hookup ratio was horrible with this bait. While I still got several bites, so I think I got six or seven bites, I never technically Got I never touched a fish. I felt the bite, set the hook, and didn't the hook didn't penetrate the fish. And that really stinks. Where is the opposite of the mega bass? As soon as that uh, bass hit the bait, I caught the fish. I think when I when it was all said and done, I only missed one fish with the mega bass sleeper kill. Now I know what you're thinking. Price has a huge uh, has a huge huge effect on if you buy these baits. You get four of these baits for seven ninety nine. You get one ow oh, one of these baits for nine ninety nine. And honestly, you can't even find this bait right now. This bait's in, insanely hard to find. But what which one's better? Now I would think the best thing for you do for you to do is to go out and try both of them. But if you want my opinion. And that's why you're watching this video, hopefully. I'd buy the sleeper gill. When you can get the sleeper gill, I'd go out and buy as many as you can. I think the Berkeley Gilly, there's a place in the market for it. When you can figure out how to hook it right, or if you're going to use it as a drop shot, or rigging it differently than when you have to rig it through the nose and then sideways, I, I'm questioning if that's the correct way to fish that bait because. Truth be told, I just didn't land any fish with it. Now, I think I say it in the video. I made 100 casts with the Berkeley Gilly. Probably more than that. I had six or seven bites, zero landed fish. I had probably 25 or 30 on this before the tail left on two of them. And I think I caught 10 or 12 bass. Decent sized bass. No, no real small ones. The one thing I did realize is consistently I was seeing a good number of fish that were in that two, two and a half pound range with this bait. Now I will say, I don't think this is a Florida bait. I think everybody up north and any place where there's a little bit clearer, cleaner water will really enjoy this mega bass sleeper. The, in Florida down here, we have so much grass that once it gets down, it's hard to come through. It still is weedless, but you still get a lot of grass in the front. But like I said, if I'm going to buy any of them, I'm buying the sleeper gill. God's honest truth. I, I have more confidence in that bait already. I have confidence in because I was catching fish and I was hooking fish where I wasn't hooking fish with the gilly. But like I said, I think you should try both. But if you want my opinion, put your money in the Mega Bass sleeper gill. It is exceptional. And I don't mean that lightly. It is exceptional. You can keep your rod tip high and just 
flat out catch fish with this bait. I don't like that it lost its tail. I really don't like that. I mean, after six or seven fish losing the tail for $10 gets me a little upset, but I'm still trying to find as many as I can right now because I just catch them. It really does catch them. There's my winner. So hopefully you like this kind of content. If you do and you want to see more of these, comment below. Also, thank you for hitting that like and subscribe button. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. See y'all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing.